What's going on guys? It's been a long time since I've done a music review and if you're one of the new people, which most likely you are, the music review slash highlight was a segment I used to do way back in the day where I would listen to a popular song in gaming, mostly Nintendo stuff of course, and I would kind of react to it on camera if I was listening to it for the first time and if I wasn't listening to it for the first time I would kind of review it on camera as well. So we both listen to the music and I kind of just let you know my favorite parts and whatnot. It sounds kind of stupid to be honest with you. I mean. When you kind of look at the idea on paper, it seems really dumb because I mean, all I'm doing is just listening to music on camera, but you guys seem to like my opinions of the stuff and let's not even lie. I mean, we both know that you're here for my reactions to stuff. A lot of you think, you know, it's funny. A lot of people think that I fake that shit and um, I just invite those people to, I don't know. I mean, I've uploaded a lot of old footage of me, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I never thought it was that weird until I started making videos with my reactions and people loved it. But um, either way, guys, that's the segment that I used to do, and I was thinking about bringing it back. So today we're gonna to be listening to some Xenoblade Chronicles X music. I know I've uploaded a lot of Xenoblade Chronicles information lately, but the game is, you know, the game has a lot of stuff to be amped for, especially if you like the JRPG um, category like I do with open world and whatnot. We have some music from the game by Photon. Thank you for linking me to this man. Link will be in the description. I didn't listen to the song yet. I didn't. But the reason why I'm going to do so is because most of the soundtrack for X is composed by Sawano Hiroyuki, who is very notable for doing some of the songs in the Attack on Titan soundtrack, some of the remixes, and they're sexy as hell. They're sexy. I mean, there's this one song that Sawano made a remix of the Attack on Titan main theme, and it's uh, it's got to be one of my favorite anime tracks, hands down. So that's why I was excited to listen to this track on camera. Without further ado, man, let's see exactly what my nigga Sawano has cooking up for us with the soundtrack of Xenoblade. Now, when I heard that he was going to be on the soundtrack for this game, for most of the soundtrack, this was pretty much a day one buy for me. I mean, I, I, I basically took my wallet and threw it at this dude because that is amazing. Like this guy really knows his way around a track. He knows how to make it sound epic and really good use of, um, one thing I have to give him accolades on, Sawano, is the way he uses the, um, I don't know how to specifically classify this, but um, when the orchestra, like when the lady sings in the background, <laughs> That shit, like, especially considering that he uses some really dramatic sounding instruments in a lot of his tracks, the shit sounds intense. So, either way, let's let's look at this without further ado. You guys have already... Alright, so um, this is a 17 minute video, so we're not going to be listening to all of this, but this will be in the description below. So, um, Hiro Yuki Sawano. Let's go, baby. Alright, so what are we listening to here? Let's go. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. How epic it is, and the voices in the background. Is this my car? Okay, yeah, that's on. Yo! Turn that shit up. Turn that shit up. Oh my god. Turn that shit up. <laughs> Yo! Are you hearing this? This sounds like something from Attack on Titan. Yo! This music, dude. It sounds like it's from Attack on Titan. Because he did work on a lot of the soundtrack course. I mean, oh my god! No, this goes so perfectly with the style of game, too. The open world nature and the fact that humanity's last stand is on this planet. It's incredible, and this song fill you with the emotion that you would expect to have in that kind of scenario. And something tells me there's not going to be just one battle theme for this song, man. Oh my god. Yo, this sounds like it was made for Attack on Titan, dude. Jesus Christ. All these songs have such dramatic... 
he just has such dramatic presence, man. Like he sounds like he sound like songs that God would be listening to, man. Yo! Yo, I can see myself bumping to this game. Oh my god, guys, let's pause this real quick. I mean, of course, a lot of you guys would know this yourselves, but I feel like the soundtrack is pretty much part of the entire experience of it. Well, of course, it's part of it, but I feel like the soundtrack is 50% of the experience of the game because let's just, let's just pay attention to the facts here. I mean, visuals are great, but the audio complementing those usually make the experience. And if the songs are epic, then it makes the game 50% more enjoyable in my, in my own you know, time playing games and whatnot. So the soundtrack alone, even if the game is bad, I mean, it, it, the soundtrack can't make up for it in its entirety, but I'm a, I'm a Sonic fan, I'm a big Sonic fan, and a lot of the games were bad, but they came with amazing music, and the music usually leaves you with the memories. So the fact that this game is looking like the gameplay is gonna be amazing, and then have amazing sounds on top of it all, just make it for a huge experience. And it's, it just sounds like such a massive game with a huge soundtrack, with a dynamic soundtrack, and it's gonna make it that much more amazing, you know? Let's fast forward a little bit. From, from what we're seeing on here, it says that the soundtrack is going to be available to purchase on May 20th, 2015. Most likely not in the United States though, as I'm seeing a yen price right here. In fact, we really don't have much information in terms of a US date yet. I know, I, I would have known if there was a release date set for Xenoblade Chronicles X yet, but I mean, not yet. The game is most likely going to become, I think the game comes out next month in Japan. I don't know for a fact, but either way, we're probably gonna have to wait until the end of this year to get this game. And I really hope that's as far as we have to wait because if this game is pushed back to next year, even if it's in the spring, I'm gonna kill somebody. So just keep that in mind, Nintendo, when you're watching over this video, that Etika is willing to murder for the sake of having Xenoblade release early. <laughs> Yo! These sound like you're playing in an anime. They said you seem to find the feel, so we can shop the skills, but now we can only feel all the pain of the danger of being real, and we may have to kill. Damn. Yo, let's fast forward a little bit more. It sounds like it sounds like Sawano did the entire damn soundtrack. I mean, most of these songs have his feel on them. So, yeah, I, I guess he did do the entire thing. I mean, it says music by Hiwano Sawayuki. Um, here, see, I, I mixed the names up. I said Hiwano um, Sawano. It seems like he did all the music on the soundtrack. So you know that that's even more of a plus, to be honest with you. That's a lot of work, though. Impressive stuff. But alright guys, I mean, there's a lot of tracks here, and these are this is just a sampler video showing us everything that's here. So I mean, whatever the case may be, this will be in the description. I won't be able to listen to everything here and react to it, per se, because, you know, there's a lot of parts of the songs that are clipped out. But from what I've heard so far, my balls are filled to the brim. And they're ready to explode anytime soon, as long as it's this year. Nintendo, please do everything you can to make sure that this is a 2015 release. Because... I don't know what I'm gonna do about this if it doesn't release this year. Like I said, someone's gonna have to be killed 
and I don't want it to be someone who works at Nintendo, but it most likely will be if this game isn't here this year. So I mean, whatever, I'm just giving you, I'm leaving that on the table for you right now. Because with a soundtrack like that, Putting that out and expecting us Americans to wait so long is torture, especially considering the amazing gameplay from the directs that Nintendo's been getting lately, I mean, excuse me, that Japan has been getting lately. This game has me extremely hyped now. In a previous video, I said that I was at an eight. Right now, count me at an 8.5 for hype scale with this game, especially considering that Sawano Hiroyuki did the entire soundtrack, not just a few songs. The whole thing is Sawano, I mean, Sawano, so I mean, with that in consideration, hype level is definitely at 8.5 out of 10, but let me know what you think about the soundtrack in the comments below. If I see one negative comment, I'm going to bomb your ass straight to hell. <laughs> I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.